Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. How are you all doing? And Lord bless you all. And I believe that you are all doing well. God bless you all. My name remains your humble host, Ambassador Frederick Obozua. And I'm the privileged convey of the Room of Prayer Ministry, simply known also as the War Room. And this is a place of prayer. We do nothing but prayer here. We pray here until we feel heaven has had us. Now, one thing I need you to understand that most of us think we pray. Until you pray and you feel you are prayed. The Bible said that Jesus prayed and every part of him began to proceed prayer. How does that mean? When he was praying, the Bible says his sweat was like the drop of blood. So there's a way you will pray and everything about you begins to move in that order of prayer. So I want to say today is another glorious day. And I believe God is going to hear your prayers today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to say this to you. One way to participate in this program is by sharing. Now, I want you to serve God in this area by sharing. Serve God by sharing. Serve God by sharing. And I want you to know that as long as God leave it, I tell you the truth, your prayers will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree your prayers will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. As you give yourself to prayer, God will give you answers in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We bless your name. There is no one like you, O oh God. Thank you for all you have been doing. Thank you for what you have done. My Father, I ask that in the name of your Son, Jesus, let the windows of heaven be open to us this day. We ask, O oh God, that everything we say by your mercy, may we begin to see it as a result of today's prayer. My Father, my Father, I ask, anyone that is bound must be loose today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, whatever that has held anyone bound must let them go today in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree whatever that has held anyone bound must let them go this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that today you breathe yourself upon me. Father, may I not speak of my own. Speak through me this afternoon and let somebody receive solution. The hour has come that someone's solution will be released. Thank you, my Father, for I know you have heard and I know you will do great and mighty things this afternoon. Do it, O oh Lord, and take the glory. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know that this afternoon is special and very important to everyone that will be a part of it. And I want to let you know that Jesus is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nothing will make him change, not even your situation. So I want you to go ahead, like the, um, click the like button, and begin to share, begin to share, begin to share. As you share, God will give you what you deserve. Somebody, I want you to type, oh God of special miracles, I am here again. Somebody type it, oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracle. Somebody type it, oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracles. Somebody, I want you to type it, oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracles. I am here for my miracles. Oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracles. Oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracles. Oh God of special miracles, I am here for my miracles. Go ahead and type it in the comment section. Invite somebody. The hour has come. The God of special miracles is here today. Oh God of special miracles, God bless you, Benofidi. The Lord God of special miracles will do a special miracle in the area of your business. 
I'm hearing to pray for your business, the area part of your business. The Lord will visit you in that dimension in the mighty name. I don't hear business. I hear business. Oh, God of special miracles, do what only you can do. Oh, God of special miracles, do what you only you can do. Go ahead and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. When you call upon him, he will answer. There's a God that answers when you pray. Oh, God of special miracles, come and do what no man can do. Father, we thank you. Manta palaro sefedia shadaba. Invite your friends, invite your loved ones. Make sure you are inviting somebody. Make sure, make sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Zivala manto paradagea. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mosa pala de balaka bayala baso brada. Mate se bolo kashaba. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. You can never, never, never fail. You can never, never fail. You can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. God can never fail. If you believe it, I want you to type it. My God can never fail. My God can never fail. I want you to type that. That is a confidence in the God we are going to call this afternoon. If you believe God cannot fail, but if you believe God fail as, fails at times to you, you, can, you may not type it. But if you believe God can never fail, and God can never lie. I want you to join me this afternoon and go ahead and type it. God can never fail. I tell you, God can fail. God cannot fail. God cannot fail. There is no failure in God. My God can never fail. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Allah maso my God can never fail. My God can never fail. 
my God can never fail. If you believe it, type it. I'm telling you, most of us, we don't have this confidence and this assurance in the God we serve. I'm telling you, we are serving a living God and his name is Yeshua. He's the almighty God. Is El Shaddai. There is no failure in God. My God can never fail. If you believe God can never fail, go ahead and type it again and again. Type it seven times. My God can never fail. My God can never fail. You know one of our slogans here? For God to fail, for me to fail, God has to fail. And since God cannot fail, I cannot fail. Now, let me tell you something. There is nothing that looks like failure that is associated with God. God cannot lie. God cannot fail. He can never fail. So this afternoon, I want us to pray, and I believe God is going to visit us as we pray. Because if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. I want you to take this prayer as very serious because I believe the almighty God has a reason for this um, program, the God of Special Miracles. Now, there are so many things that can make you not be a partaker of this word or of this God's benefits. Now, let me tell you, when I say God of Special Miracles, I'm saying the God that comes to you in another form that you've never imagined now there are times that certain things happen to us in our life and destinies you just know this is god you can point god to it if there are things that have happened in your life that you can't point god to it that means it's not god and let me say this to you if it's not god it's not good if it's not good it's not god can i take that again if it's not good it's not god and if it's not god it's not good I wish somebody got that. So God is a good God. God is not a God that will be good today and be bad tomorrow. I'm telling you, God is always good. God is always good. I tell you, God is good all the time. Father, we thank you. All right, I want us to take this prayer. I sent this message to one of my sons this morning in the US while I was praying for him and the Lord told me I should pray that prayer for him. And I prayed for him. I think I even sent it to him. And I told him, may he not make a mistake that will cost him, that will cost him regret. I don't know if he's watching now, but I sent him that message today. I sent him that message today. A lot of us make certain mistakes that causes us to regret. I sent it to him this morning. Now, if Samson had known that Delilah was a mistake that can take his life, he would have not dared Delilah. There are so many things the devil has pushed us to do. And we begin to regret. Sometimes we are being manipulated into certain things. So we are going to take that prayer. Oh, God. Help me not to make a mistake. Guide me not to make a mistake that will take my peace. There are people today, there are certain things that have taken their peace. They made a mistake. They made a mistake and he took their peace. So I, I, I sent him to him and I, I believe, I, th I think he should be sleeping when I sent that to him. So I believe the almighty God is going to protect everyone. You will not make a costly mistake. I say you will not make a costly mistake. I say you will not make a costly mistake. I say you will not make a costly mistake. You will not make a costly mistake. I say you will not make a costly mistake. If you make, if you type amen to that, I'm telling you, it's you I'm talking to. You will not make a costly mistake. That mistake that will cost you, you will not make it. I say you will not make it. You will not make a costly mistake. 
In the name of Jesus. Everybody go ahead and share this broadcast. Share this broadcast now. Everybody share. If you have shared, I want you to indicate how many times you've shared. I want you to indicate it. I want you to indicate. Everybody click on the like button. Everybody, I want you to be clicking on the like buttons. Click on the like buttons. I will not make a costly mistake. I will not make a costly mistake. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want us to take this prayer also. And the prayer is simple. Oh, God. Let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. The Bible says in the book of, I think, uh, the first Peter, now second Peter, it say five verse ten. It says, after ye have suffered for a while, after ye have suffered for a while, then I said, God bless you full turn. You share 20 times. May the Lord God Almighty visit you with a special miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Every other person, please share and let me know how many times you shared. God bless you, Vanessa. You can share some more. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Now, oh Lord, when I say, oh Lord, let my hour of settlement manifest. Let my hour of settlement happen. Let it manifest. Now, there is an hour of settlement that God can use to settle you. Now, when you miss that hour of settlement, it is so bad. Now, I've been using this woman my, as a case study since yesterday. The woman with the issue of blood. She took advantage of that hour. And she knew that this was an hour of settlement. This was an hour of her settlement. She didn't care whatever was around her. She didn't even care if she was smelling. In fact, her smell gave her way. Her smell paved the way for her. So I want you to know there's an hour of a man or a woman's settlement. When that hour comes, even the devil cannot stop it. Somebody type, my hour of settlement has come. Please type it. Anything I say, type. Just obey and type. Instruction is one key that opens manifestation. When you obey instruction, God bless you. Ihena Benedita, you share 15 times the Lord will give you a special miracle. I'm telling you this month, Benedita, there are certain things God will answer you. God is going to give answers to you on them. I'm telling you this month, this month, this month. Somebody type it in the comment section, oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, oh God, come on everybody watching online. Oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. As you type it, pray it. Oh God, let my hour of settlement come. Let my hour of settlement come. Let my hour of settlement come. Listen to me. There are some of you, you have seen God settle people. You have heard God settle people. It is time for your own settlement to manifest. I'm telling you, your settlement will start from this month. I'm telling you, God will set to you. God will set to you. He said, after ye have suffered for a while, but a while you cannot determine if your while is now. Let's see that scripture quickly. I think it's the book of um, Peter. Let the hour of settlement of my children come. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. First Peter 5 verse 10. First Peter 5 verse 10, it says, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. So when your hour of settlement comes, all these begin to follow but the Bible says, after you have suffered for a while. Now, it didn't put a time there so that you can put your time there. It didn't put time there so that you can put time. 
But your hour of settlement can happen from this meeting, if you believe. When the hour of settlement comes for you, you don't struggle anymore. So that's why I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, that settles men. Let my own hour of settlement manifest. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let my hour of settlement happen. Let my hour of settlement happen. Oh God, that hear a prayer. Let my hour of settlement manifest. Let my hour of settlement manifest. Let my hour of settlement manifest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, let my hour of settlement begin to manifest. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Let my hour of settlement begin to manifest. Le kopaya na mase palabata, maya te kopala breka toba ya. In kotoba la kiza bala kopara dama koba zabela katoba ya. Mizuzu pelara se pananesha. Barama kotoba ya taka bera gabera zobela taka. Ebala baka toba ragada. Ela bagada bala. Ela bagada bala. Ela gabada gada. Ela bagada gada. Ela bagada gara gada bara gada gada. Oh God. God, let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, let my hour of settlement manifest. Oh God, I hear it prayer. Let my hour of settlement manifest. La pakato bayata gabaza balabo koto bragata bayaga bazo bayata. Ilo bagato bala bagabozo bragata bragato bayata. Ila meko kobe koso bragata bala bagato bayata bayata. Ila bagato bayaga balaga balaga balato balaga to balaga. Ila gato balata. Ila gato balada, ila gato balada, ila gato balada, ila gato balaga, gato balaga, gato balaga, gato balaga, gato balaga, gato balaga, gato balaga. Liko ba ya sataya. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hallelujah. When your hour of settlement shows up, everything begins to happen. The prayers you have prayed begins to come to play. God bless you, Pastor. Dr. Abraham Moses, God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining. God bless you, sir. Wonderful meeting yesterday. I tell you, I felt like being a part of that meeting yesterday. Hallelujah. It was powerful. God is using you, sir. God will keep you till the day of the Lord. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Now, when your hour of settlement comes, everything begins to happen. I'm telling you, now settlement is a spirit. Some of you don't know that. When the hour of your settlement comes, now there are prayers you have been praying for for like 10 years ago. You begin to see its manifestation. Why is the hour of settlement? I remember years ago when I see people holding dollars. I'll be like, oh God, when will I hold my own dollar? Oh God, when will I hold my own dollar? Oh God, when... But when my hour of settlement came, now I don't pray that prayer anymore. It comes on its own. Why? Because my hour of settlement has come. Everybody share this broadcast. Tell me how many times you've shared. I want to pray for you specially. I'm telling you, when your hour of settlement comes, there are things you have been struggling to get. It comes cheaply. Now, some of you may not understand this. Men of God can relate to this. There are people that have been praying for some people. As soon as they come into your ministry, you just speak a word. And all of a sudden, the, the testimony happened. And people will not think, oh, the man of God is super. No, that person's hour of settlement has come. But God needed to unlock it from that man of God's mouth. Just like many of you today, I will be unlocking your settlement. I will be unlocking your settlement. Now, when this settlement comes, I'm telling you, solution has come. Is it after you have, that's uh, First Peter chapter 5, verses 10. Is it after you have suffered for a while, the God of all grace. After you have suffered for a while, he said, we establish you, we strengthen you, we now say to you. Now, after all this suffering, and some people will still die without being settled. There are people that, that lost their life without settlement. There are people that saw their children go to school, 
but their children, they never saw their children graduate. There are people again that they saw their children graduate, but before their children started working to bless them, they are no more. So they didn't see the settlement of their benefits. God bless you, Modukbe. I can see you share 10 times. God bless you. May God of settlement settle you. May God settle you, Modukbe Kende. May God settle you. May God settle you. Maureen, God bless you. May God settle you. May God do a special miracle in your life. Maureen, God bless you. Now hear this. Everyone, as you share, I'm going to pray for you specially. God bless you. God bless you. Now hear this. When the, uh, when the time of settlement comes, rest has come. Rest has come. God bless you unto you, Kebao. God bless you for sharing. The Lord will set to you and the Lord will give you a special miracle unto you, Kebao. God bless you. Now, are you hearing me, everybody? When your hour of settlement has come, your rest has come. Now, whatever has made you restless before that time, all of a sudden, you begin to enjoy unusual rest. Don't forget, these are our months of unusual rest. And this rest can only come when you are settled. The Bible says, after ye have suffered for a while, when you are suffering, you are on rest. But as soon as settlement comes, rest has come. What is the next prayer point? I want you to type this prayer point. God bless you, uh, gift. God bless for sharing 10 times. The Lord will bless you. Gift, I pray for you. That special miracle you have been trusting God for. May God set to you with that miracle. Oh God, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see God unlocking people's settlements. I'm seeing it. I'm serious. People's settlements are going to be unlocked this afternoon. I will tell you the truth. I have prayers already. I want to pray, but the Holy Spirit just dropped this in my spirit. He said, I want to settle people. I want to settle people. I want to settle people. Mostly those that have suffered. Everybody share this broadcast. And everybody will share the broadcast as it's being shared unto you also. Hallelujah. Let the chain of sharing be activated right now. Hallelujah. So please, everybody go ahead and share. Now, we are going to pray this prayer. I want you to type it and pray it. Oh, bless you. I think what you've shared 10 times. The Lord bless you. The Lord said to you, the Lord give you a special miracle. That miracle, that intervention you have been asking God for, may God step in and settle it in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, now hear this, everybody. Hear this, everybody. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. You are going to write this. Oh, God of settlement. Settle me and let me rest. Hmm. I took this prayer. I prayed. I went somewhere to take some prayers this morning. And I took this prayer. The prayer was, wow. Everybody began to pray it. Now, you can't talk about rest if there is no settlement. If you have not been settled as maritally, you will not have rest. If you have not been settled in the area of fruitfulness, you will not have rest. So that's why you're going to pray, oh God of settlement, settle me and let me rest. Settle me and let me rest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God of settlement, settle me and let me rest. Oh God that settles men, settle me and let me rest. Oh God that settles men, settle me and let me rest. Oh God, that settles men, uh, settle me and let me rest. Uh, oh God, that settles men, uh, settle me and let me rest. Uh, Bali kopala mesofela bredo semelande, rubegetale mokonzo berakatobaya, jika koba kadele meko bregado bayata, Belaro so pecando no no me con bella kendaya. Oh God, said to me and let me rest. I don't know the area of rest you need. It might be the area of rest in your finances. It might be the area of rest in your health. 
oh Lord, in this area of my life. Uh, send to me and let me rest. Uh, open your mouth and begin to pray this prayer. In Oh God, I hear the prayers. Said to me and let me rest. Jabada bada bada koba yada bada bala gabana godo barada baya kasoba yata. Oh God, I answers prayers. Said to me and let me rest. Iko pa ya male koso brada baya ta. In de 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 kapera mekaba. Said to me and my children. Said to me, Oh Lord, Lord, I need settlement in my health. I need settlement in my finances. I need settlement in my marriage. Somebody pray this prayer. As you pray, there will be settlement in that marriage. The Lord said there is a there is a family that I we, we need to agree that God should bring settlement in that family. There is a family. There's a family. There's a family. Mana masopela tekaya. Miko paya masipolo mayata. E kape ne makoso bayata. E tide bana kapaya. Liko paya. I speak peace into that family. I unlock settlement into that family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mercy Kebo. Good to see you here. God bless you, Mudupe Kende. God bless you. Every one of you that is coming, everyone that is coming on board, God bless you. God bless you. Now, now settlement, when it comes, there are certain things you don't struggle for again. There are certain things when a man is settled, there's a kind of aura of peace that enters the home. When a man is not settled, everybody is not settled. Women, am I, am I speaking your mind? When a man is not settled, Nobody settled in the house. So I want you to know that the God of heaven is interested in your settlement. Now, if you read that scripture in first um Peter chapter number five, first Peter five, verse 10, is it but the God of all grace? Mm, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that ye have suffered a while. Now, God did not put time. Paul did not put time here. There is no time here. There is no time here. There is no time frame here. Now, a lot of us, we put time frame to things. That's why we are troubled. We put time frame to it. We put time frame to it. Now, the Bible says, after he has suffered a while, a while is not a specific time. Now, there are some of you, your, your suffering in certain area has been for long. It's not for a while. A while is not saying a while can be a week. A while can be one month. A while can be six months. But there are people that a while has been like 10 years. Five years, no child. Three years, no child. Two years, no child. Ten years, no child. Fifteen years, no child. That's no longer for a while. So what is stopping that person's settlement? What is stopping the person's settlement? Now, when is it time is one thing that must work for you? Somebody type, time will work for me. Type it on the comment section. Time will begin to work for me. Time will begin to work for me. There are a lot of people, time is fighting them. Time is against them. Time is not for them. That's why when you see a young sister, when she's about 35, 40, she's troubled because she feels there's no more time. God did not say she does not have time. She decided to say she does not have time. So time will work for you. Now, don't forget, in the Bible say the book of John chapter number two, John chapter two, where Jesus was in the wedding of Cana. Now, that the mother spoke to him and Jesus said, my time has not come. Obedience made the time come. Some of you, what will bring your settlement, what will make your time come is just simple obedience. 
There are people that still use calculator to relate with God. And there are people that are sold out. They don't know how to relate with God like normal men. In this wicked world, there are certain dimensions if you want your time to come. Because Jesus said to the mother, woman, my time has not come. My hour has not come. That's what he said. My hour has not come. But since he said my hour has not come, why then would the mother say whatever he tells you to do, do it? Watch this. There was shame already in the wedding. There was no wine. Then all of a sudden, Jesus was there. Another shame. Because the Son of God was there. How come? Then all of a sudden, the mother now told him, there is no wine. And he said to the mother, my hour has not come. But the mother said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, in any area I've been disobedient to you, that has cost me time. Father, show me mercy. Some of us, there are things God has told you to do for years. Because you refuse to do it, because you refuse to obey, you are where you are till now. That's why you are not settled. You are talking about, oh God, of special miracles, do a special miracle in my life. God will not do it. Because the instruction he gave to you, what did you do about it? Somebody type it, I will obey instructions. If you know you will obey instructions, I want you to type it. Abraham, I want to say to you, I'll make you a father of many nations. Abraham, I'm going to do a special miracle in your life because at your age, you are not supposed to have child. But I'm going to do a special miracle in your life. Abraham did not doubt it. The Bible says it was counted to him righteousness because he believed in hope against hope. Even more, though he knew he was old. Now, many people have missed it because of disobedience. Jesus said to their mother, that was for me, if it was this present age now, you tell your mother that kind of word, your mom will say it's an insult. Yes. Now, he didn't say mommy. He said, woman, my hour has not yet come. But this is the same man that said the hour has not come, but obedience provoked it. So if you want God to do a special miracle in your life, you need to be a man and woman of obedience, not disobedience. Your time can still work if you can obey. There are some of you, God will tell you, do this, do this, do that. But you are still dragging with it. I remember one time when we just got married then. <clears throat> I was 2017. When I got married on January 2017, a few weeks after my wedding, because I got married 7th of January 2017. I think, I think it was about some weeks after my wedding. And I heard God. The Lord said, release your car. Release your car. I, I, I went to consult my wife. And my wife looked at me with kind of eyes. That eye told me no in a million times. Because we just got married. What kind of God did you hear? Brethren, I won't lie to you. Few months later, that car packed up on the road. I, I suffered on the way coming from Auchi to Lagos. I had to do what? I had to leave that car. And that car spent almost three months. I was without the car. If I had obeyed, I would have not suffered for that while. For a while, I was without car. Now, after that incident, my wife now made a statement. He said, whatever I say, Whatever I say from now, she will be. Now, since then, that was an that was a total experience. Since then, if I tell my wife the Lord, I should give out this now. She does not argue. Hallelujah. Now, some of us are still in that category. We are still consulting flesh. 
to do certain things. Yes. So now the reason why special miracles have not happened is because, number one, I told us yesterday, one of the things that makes special miracles happen is what? Prayer. Under prayer, I told you, that's uh, under prayer, what, number one, prayer. Number two, I'm going to tell you number two today, which I'm already talking about. Number one is prayer, and under that prayer, we had adversaries. Number two, we have hindrances. And today, I'm telling you, one of the things that brings special miracles, number two, is obedience. Obedience. Jesus said, my time has not come. My time has not come. Thank you, ma'am. Obedience actually is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. My time has not come. But many of you, you are still calculating life. Oh, God. So many things I enjoy today is as a result of sacrifice. Obedience to sacrifice. A lot of us today, we, we, are, we hear God. Some of you are waiting for God to say, oh, my son, oh, my daughter. God will not do that. And you're talking about special miracles. It may never happen. So number two is obedience. When you obey, you get a special miracle. Abraham, I'll make you a father of many nations. All of a sudden, Abraham saw three men. He accosted them, told them, come to my house, give them food to eat. And all of a sudden, the men prophesied. When the prophecy now manifested, God showed up. How did God show up? God showed up. Abraham, do you love me? Abraham said, yes, I love you. He said, now give me your child. Your only child, Isaac. My God. I thought God would say, just give me your child. So God, Abraham can just take Ishmael. I knew Abraham would have taken Ishmael. But God made it specific. Most of you, God is specifying certain things for you to do. And those things, some of you feel it's a familiar spirit, are voices. Oh, it's a strange spirit. No! No! One time the Lord said to me, begin to pay widows. He first said to me, he said, keep feeding beggars on the street. I obeyed. After then, he said, now start paying widows. Now, the first one I obeyed, I saw the result of the obedience. I saw many results of the obedience. Then he get, listen, God will never graduate you from a class when you fail the first one. Someone did not get that. God will never graduate you from a class if you fail the first class. If you fail this class, you must repeat it. Oh, yes. Listen, God knows your capacity. There are some of you now, if God tells you now, give me five thousand dollars or god is speaking through a man of god tell oh give me five thousand you say oh the man of god is talking through flesh is in need of money why would you think that first why don't you think okay maybe this is a way out of a challenge this is a way god wants to bless me abraham give me your child your only child isaac abraham said yes sir most times we look at the situation instead of seeing it as the solution to our settlement. Can I take that again? We see it when you when you when God speaks to you to give, most times we see it as a situation instead of the solution to our settlement you know i look at the people most times that when the man of god tells you the lord wants you to do this and you are struggling with it you are not yet a believer because spiritual things cannot be fathomed by your human mind i have there, there was one time there was one time 
I had some dollar bills with me. And the Lord said to me, take it, give it to the man of God. He pains me. Yes, it, I won't lie, he pains me. But there was something I've been praying for. And that thing happened on a Sunday. I gave that money on a Sunday. The person I've been praying for to be released. As soon as I gave that money in the morning, in the evening, they release the person on a Sunday. You don't release people on Sundays. You don't. But it was given to the person. We see. Oh, thank you, Ma, for this. He said, Take now your son, your only son. God, don't you, you, do you know how long I've waited for this child? Some of you, oh, do you know how long I've waited to have a car? Now you are saying God needs the car. Is it God that will drive the car? No, sir, drive your car. Oh, God, do you know I have many needs? I have many needs. Listen, anything that cannot meet your need is a seed. He said, take now your son. Your only son, Isaac. In fact, God did not recognize Ishmael. Even though Ishmael is a child. But he said, take that only son, Isaac. Whom you love. And you say you want a special miracle? No. Number one is prayer. Number two is obedience. Number three. If you want a special miracle, you must love God. Listen, love us me than this. He said, yes, Jesus not talking to Peter. Most times we claim to love God. Do you know when God truly tr tests us if we love him? Is when he uses men of God to ask you certain things. Then you will see your love will be shaking. Why is it when the man of God tells you give, the first thing that comes to your mind, my money will reduce. <laughs> oh, I know some people will not like my message this afternoon. But as a truth, we are going to go on that dimension you like. But let us say the truth first. Why is it when you say, give me? The first thing that comes to your mind is, ah, I had, I had $10,000. If I give $1,000 now, ha, huh, one thousand dollars just go like that. I didn't invest it. See, when you begin to calculate those kind of things, there are certain dimensions of God you can never see. Number one, I said is prayer. Number two is obedience. Number three, love. Listen, if you don't love God enough, you cannot see a special miracle. When love is involved, there are certain things that must leave you. You want a special child? There are certain things that must leave you. Oh, Abraham, I told you, you'll be a father of many nations, but there's a test. You know, many people like prophecy without instruction. Prophecy without an instruction most times end in destruction. Oh, God will make you great. But you don't want to go through the test of greatness. Oh, God will give you a special miracle. Some of you are expecting me to begin to prophesy. Yes, I'm going to do that. But I need to teach you the fundamentals. Oh, God is going to do this. Listen to me. If you don't, those that love God are givers. If you don't love God, you can never give. See a man, show me a man that loves God is a man that gives without thinking. Or a woman without thinking. I'm telling you. How much of God do you have is how much of the value of God I see you. Or how much value you have for God. Listen, if you can still calculate money in this world that someone can die and leave that money and one person is going to claim your account, listen to me. Listen, you need to get to a point that you should love God with even your substance. Don't say, I love you, I love you. If I even between a relationship between somebody and the other person, if there is no giving inside, there is no love. I love God. And you see... You can't see God, but you have this man of God, you have women of God there that represent him. 
When you hear give, oh, God is, oh, God, my love. God wants me to just use this person to give him so that he can. Listen, there are things you give that speaks for you. Givers can never lack. And lackers can never give. Oh, is that Pastor Fred looking for money? Yes, I'm looking for money if you want to say that. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Everybody's looking for money. Everybody needs money. Everybody loves money. Even the richest people are still looking for money. When you love God, there are things you don't count as anything. There are some of us here, I can count some people here, they, they've lost taste for the thing common because if they die now, if you die now, what next? There are some of you, God will say, oh, do this, do this. Listen, I've come to understand this God in my own little walk with him. That most times what you give to us might not be what God will answer for you for or avert trouble for you. Most times God will advert, God will advert certain trouble. God will stop certain things from happening to you, not knowing it was the seed you gave yesterday. But most times, oh, I'm giving this seed concerning my job. Most times, God is not attending to the job. God is attending to your life. That seed, listen, every sacrifice is a memorial. Every seed reaches out to God. Now, every time you sow a seed with joy, it ascends to God. Every time you give, without, uh, listen, there are some people that give without even a man of God asking. Check those people's life. Lockers never give. If you are still waiting for your man of God to tell you what to do, you don't love God. You are asking for a special miracle that will never happen. You need to know that your love for God makes you not to value anything. Have you ever been in love? You hear somebody say, I love you so much, I can't sleep. But I don't know if it's true now again. Suppose say, I love you, I can't sleep. It's a lie. Sleep, is, sleep has not come. Is real sleep come, you will sleep. If real sleep come, you will sleep. But this God that loves you, the Bible says, He neither sleep nor slumber. That is love. Psalm 1 to 1. He said, he neither sleep nor slumber. He that keepeth Israel, he neither sleep nor slumber. So some of us, we need to begin to look for how to love God. You can't tell me you love God and you don't give. Even John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world and he gave. He gave. Even God needed a special miracle. God needed a special miracle to humanity, so he gave. Is only begotten son. And God said to Abraham, give me that only son Isaac. Listen, God does not need. God does not need what you are giving him. If he needed it, he would have taken Isaac. In fact, as soon as you decide to give, God has made a provision. The provision might be for your health. The provision might be for your children. The provision might be for your husband. The provision might be for your job. So most times when you are giving, you don't even know why you are giving. Huh? But most times when you give, you begin to think, am I a fool? Yes, you may be a fool at that moment. That's what your mind is telling you. But you are going to get the fullness of God. It's better I am F-O-O-L for God to become F-U-L-L -L for God. Can I tell you that again? It is better I, I am a F-O-O-L for God and to receive F-U-L-L -L from God. If my giving makes me a fool, no problem. Oh Lord, as I have given, give me the fullness. Abraham, as soon as he obeyed, God saw he love. Those that obey God, God sees love in them. Those that obeys God, God sees love in them. God did not spare his only begotten son. Now, some of you are still spearing some things and you want a special miracle. 
Abraham never speared a whole cow. He slaughtered a whole cow when he saw the angels and he gave to him. There are some of you, you have been praying to God about certain things. And that miracle is a special miracle. And the Lord is saying to me, there are certain things you are still spearing. He said, there are things you are still spearing. You are spearing it. Oh, oh, I don't want, I, I, I've suffered to have this thing. I've suffered to get this thing. I've suffered enough. I, listen, there are things you don't need that you are keeping. When you die, somebody else will use it without your permission. Oh, I used to know, I used to know an uncle then, if you touch his car, you are in trouble. If you do anything, you are in trouble. But when he died, it was the car they used to go and buy things. He was not there to shout, leave my car. In fact, the barrier, it was the car they were using. So you need to understand, if you love material things, listen to me. Oh, is God going to come down to take it? Listen to me. God does not need to come down because God does not need it. He knows his servants need it. So I said, number one, for you to get special miracles. Oh, my God. I know people may not be liking today's message. No problem. I will say the truth so that God will bless me. Whatever he say is what I will say. Whatever he says, that's what I will say. And number one, prayer. Number two is what? Obedience. Number three is love. Number four. If you want to enjoy special miracles, you must be a giver. Hmm. Number one is what? Prayer. Number two is um, obedience. Number three is um, love. Number four is <laughs> give. If you are a giver, there are miracles you don't even need to pray for. Solomon woke up one day, he gave and gave and gave and gave, and God visited him in a dream. He said, Solo, what do you want? When God, he asked God for wisdom, God said, I will not only give you wisdom. He said, I will give you what? God gave him even the things he did not ask for. Today, today we have not seen any man that has beat Solomon in wealth. Hallelujah. So there are certain things you must let go and let God. I don't know why I'm talking like this today. But the Lord is saying for this special miracle to happen, there must be something you must give. There must be something you must do. Whatever he tells you to do, do. As soon as he told them, fill the water pot, God acted. God will not do a special miracle until you obey. There are certain things that cannot happen until you love God. There are certain things that can never happen until you obey. There are certain things that can never happen until you give. God told me many years ago, if you want to keep living, keep giving. If you want to take my life, stop me from giving. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stop giving. In fact, preaching to you, I'm giving to you. Yes. A lot of us, we, we, it's hard for us to give. It's hard. It's hard. And you are asking God for a special miracle. Please, please, you keep asking. I'm not cursing, but I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth. This is the gospel. This is the truth. I'm telling you. Jesus, for him to, to command certain crowd to himself, he gave them to. He gave them the word. And he still went ahead. He gave them food. When the disciples said, send them away. For there are too many. Jesus said, no, let them sit down. And a little boy gave. Adults could not give. A little boy gave. Listen. May, may God not use another person to give in your place. Somebody type amen to this, I just said. Some of you, when you refuse to do it, God can send another person to do it. 
Any time you hear an opportunity to give, please be happy. Because if you refuse to do it, God can send somebody else to do it. If you refuse to do it, God can use another person to do it. Most times, some of you, you may not know. One time, one of us, she's watching now. One time I told her, I said, we need to get chairs in my church. And she sent money. And it was, I didn't tell her she's hearing this for the first time now. I know she will tell me she will wound me later. She's my mommy. She's watching. And I told her, I said, send money for the chairs. She sent money for the chairs and bought the chairs. One of the major things that she, she got went through certain things. And one of the things the devil has targeted that she will never sit down and enjoy her marriage. I said, when she, in my heart, I said, Lord, as she has given chairs to the kingdom, to your house, may she have her seat. May she sit down after, after what she went for in the hospital. And when she began to tell me how God has made her so strong, she's able to do things, she goes to the market. People that went through what she went through, they don't dare it. She drives herself, cooks, go to the market, everything. Why? There are certain kingdom investments that brings blessings, that brings protection, that keeps testimony. There are things you will do, it will keep your testimony. Not today you get tomorrow, you get broke tomorrow. There are certain things you will do today, God is obligated to making sure you don't go down. There are people that have been faithful to give into this ministry. In the times of the beggars, I tell you, they can never beg. Never. There are things I do, I tell you, I can't beg. It's not pride. It's not pride. It's just because there are certain things you are doing that will not speak. You claim to love God and you can't give. Even God love and he gave. Who, are you? Who do you look like? Who is your father? For God so loved the world. And he gave. Brother Anna. Anna had confrontation of, of Penina. The Bible said Penina became an adversary to her. An adversary. I told you yesterday, there's nothing like stepmother. Anybody that decides to come in when your mother is there is an adversary. She's not a stepmother. Leave that thing. The Bible did not call her a stepmother. The Bible called her an adversary. Is there? Read your Bible. I think First Samuel chapter one, I think verse four or five. He said, he said, and he said, and her adversary, Penina. And Penina was her adversary. Hallelujah. So Anna has been going to Shiloh. She has been praying. She has been praying. But as soon as she said, "Oh God, give me a male child, and I'll give him back to you," as soon as there was a transaction, God gave her a special miracle. Her womb was shot by God. God shot. Some of you, you don't know why certain things are happening. You have been praying. You have been praying. You have been praying. You have been praying for that special miracle. Some of you is just release a sacrifice. Give sacrificially. Then you will see that special miracle happen. Listen, life is spiritual. This world is spiritual. Listen, there is nothing I cannot give. I'm telling you, there's nothing. Something happened today. I was talking to somebody. I thought the person wanted to ask me for some money. There are some money I have saved. I would have carried it and give to him. Yes, I would have, as in, I would have packed it and give to the person. I thought it was money. I would have, I'm saving the money, but I don't, I will pack it and give. Unless God did not have that need. Some of us, we are asking God for special miracle. But it can't happen. Now, this was not what a lot of us was expecting. Oh, God. But let me tell you the truth. There are certain truths that are the root of your settlement. Can I say it again? There are certain truths that are the root of that your settlement. There are certain truths that are the roots of that situation. You may not like me, 
But take what I'm telling you. It works. The Bible says, seed time and harvest shall never cease. Seed time and harvest. So anytime there's a seed, there's a time for the seed, but there's no time for the harvest. Read the Bible. The Bible says, seed time and harvest shall never cease. So there's a time for seed. There's never, there's no time for the harvest, but you can provoke your harvest. The Lord said to me, he said, I'm going to be unlocking settlement this afternoon. He said, because when settlement comes, it's because special miracle has come. When anytime you see settlement, it's because God has done something special in somebody's life. Anna, she said, she said, if I, if you give me a child, I will give you back a prophet. There are certain confused situations in the place of prayer only sacrifice can atone. One of us, okay, she's not watching now. There was a court case yesterday. She called me on Saturday. She came to the church. I told her there was there was there's a mic we needed in the church. I told her pay for the mic. I said pay for the mic. In court, there are certain things. It is mouth they used to talk. I said as they use this mic in church on Sunday. I said no matter what the case will be, it will be the way you people want it. To the glory of God, it was like that yesterday, Wednesday. She called me yesterday night that as they wanted the case, that's how the case went. So there are certain things that only sacrifice can do. Only sacrifice. Because he took, there, are, there, there was a case I handled, of, uh, they handled that the case was dealt with, the, was dealing with dealt, uh, a man being uh, arrested, DSS, whatever, and I heard said it, that that money went down for that man's case. I don't want to call the figures on air. And all of a sudden, when I was told that, I said, okay, when the woman raised a sacrifice, a million pounds, when she raised a sacrifice, a million, I think a million two hundred, or a million five hundred, one point five million, the, the, the case scatter. The case that was no, no interest before, as soon as I stepped in, sacrifice came in. I spread the money. I spread it to several spiritual fathers. The case scatter. There are cases that can't survive when sacrifice is involved. There are people that are waiting for you to cry because you know why? They have made some sacrifice. There are people waiting for your children to be wayward because they have made some sacrifice. What sacrifice have you made for that special miracle you have been asking God for? I'm telling you, the Lord said this to me. He says, son, tell them the truth. I'm telling you the truth today. There are sacrifices you must make. If you don't make them, don't expect that special miracle. Hear this? Because we're about to pray. Anytime the devil makes you feel money, 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 just know that there's an attack against your settlement. Because how come he, he, he keeps telling you they want to collect your money? They want to collect your they want to collect your money. If in the time of all you ask for goods, you ask for cow. But right now, you are in America. We like now tell you come and give me cow for America. There is what they call the exchange for it. In fact, it was money. They did not use cow to betray our Lord Jesus Christ. They used money to betray him. Now, hear this. The God of special miracles is about to unlock somebody's statement today. Listen to this. If you can take these instructions I've take, said. Number one, I said prayer. Number two, I said obedience. Number three, love. Number four is um, giving. And number five is honor. 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 There are people you honor. Either they are men of God. Either they are women of God. Either they are aged people. Or even young people. There are honor that brings special miracles. The Bible says, 2 Chronicles 2020, is it believe in the Lord thy God that shall be established and believe in his prophet? Listen, never ever 
dishonor God's own. No matter who they are, they have their weaknesses. They have their weaknesses. God will not, God, God will not question them in front of you. They know how they sort, sort, settle with their God. But you now that is carrying their matter on your head, I pity you. Be careful not to dishonor a man of God, an elder. There is not, there is no kind of anointing upon my head today. I will see an elderly person. I will dishonor that person. I can't do that. I can't. There are certain miracles that will never happen to some young, young ladies and to some young men. They don't know how to talk. They are disrespectful. They insult. They gossip. Men of God. Listen, every man of God has his own shortcoming. That's why they call him man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Not God of man. Not spirit of God. Everyone has his own shortcomings. Everyone. Now hear this. When you dishonor a man or a woman, the honor you should enjoy, the honor even angels should give to you, they will withdraw it from you. Oh my God. Never. Now, you know, there are certain things our fathers did not know. But they knew what they called honor. They honor their fathers. Those days they'll tell you, this is the person you marry, you must marry. Don't marry, you will not marry. Not generation right now. No, 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 no. This generation, they are confused with what they call love. But th that generation, anything they tell you, you just do. You obey. You obey. So I want you to know that there's a honor you will honor a grace even though he prays for you he does not pray for you that grace will begin to speak for you i told some of us last time i said your spiritual father is somebody you can pick your phone and call not somebody you cannot reach i'm still surprised don't as i ask some people i ask a set of people i say come don't you know your father? They say they know their father. When you call your father now, won't your father answer? He say yes. Some of you can joke with your dad now, say daddy and touch his head. Right? But there are people you call your father. You can't call them. You can't reach them. And you say they're your spiritual father. I don't understand. Now, you are communicating to them the way you are communicating to God. Yes. Because your father or your mentor is somebody you can reach. You can call, agree with me in this prayer. Not the ones you can't reach and you call them your father. They are your mentors, they are not your father. Yes, your spiritual father is somebody you can reach. Yes, I don't understand. I don't understand what people, I, I don't know how people just see Sit and they call oh, this one is my father. That's my father. Who's your father? You, you only see on TV or you see on social media. That's my father. I pay my tithe to my father. But I'm telling you the truth. Your father is somebody you can communicate with. If it's only TV, you are, go and look for him. Reach him. Not only through account number, that's my father. Have you spoken to him? Hallelujah. That's your father. He's not a mentor. A mentor is different from a father. If you call him a father, then he should be a father. You should call him. Hallelujah. But some of us are, 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 are ignorance of this. So there are fathers you must honor that special miracles will come. There are fathers you must honor special miracles will come. There are fathers you call your father, you just only operate with them by faith. Hallelujah. So, oh, Jesus. But I want to tell you this. If you can take this instruction, these five instructions, and you can pray with these five instructions, check yourself. 
If you can follow these five, I tell you, the God that do a special miracle will do special miracle in your life. I'm telling the truth. Number one, like I said, is prayer. You must pray. You must pray for that special miracle. Under the prayer I told us yesterday, there are adversaries, there are hindrances. Number two, obedience. Obedience. Number three, love. Number four, be a giver. And number five, you must learn to honor. Honor the grace of God upon men of God's life. Honor the grace of God upon elderly people. A son or a daughter cannot have more used clothes than his parents. As a slogan, I've always used all my life not to disrespect people. Now that today, there are people, I still call them, oh, auntie this, uh, auntie this, mommy this. There are people, very small, small young men, young ministers, they don't have res regard or respect. They can just call the person's name. Don't call your name anyhow. No, that's wrong. That's very wrong. I pray the God of special miracles will pay you a visit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this message. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, your spirit take over this hour. Let everything we have heard, oh Lord, be a blessing to us. Let it not work against us on the last day. Father, I ask, oh Lord, as I've spoken, my Father, help me, oh God, to watch over those you have brought to me. For these ones, oh God, bless them. Remember them, oh Lord, and do a special miracle in their life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, the Holy Spirit just said to me now, while I was praying, he said, you didn't say one. He said, you didn't say one. What's that one? Number six is salvation. He just told me that. He said, you didn't say that one. It's salvation. Now, salvation carries all this. If you are not saved, your prayers cannot be heard. If you are not saved, how can you obey? If you are not saved, how can you love God? If you are not saved, how can you give to God? If you are not saved, how can you honor God? If you are not saved, you are not saved. Pastor Abraham Moses said it yesterday on his platform. He said, if you are not saved, you are not saved. Salvation. God told me yesterday, he said, when he said the word salvation, he said, I've saved you to nations. I've saved you to nations. Salvation. Sal, save to nations. Salvation. So you are saved to save others. So if you don't have salvation, forget it. No special miracle can even come. If it comes, something will take it. If it's not good, it's not God. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand, if you are not saved, you are not saved. One thing is sure, salvation is one thing that brings special miracles. Hallelujah. Salvation brings special miracles. So I want you to understand that the almighty God will only save those that are already saved. He will rescue those that are already rescued to himself. So I'm telling you the truth. You must have Jesus to enjoy the special miracles I'm talking about. So I pray for everyone that is yet to be saved. Oh Lord, by your precious blood. And by your hand of mercy, pull them to the blood. Pull, pull them to the bleeding side, oh God. And let your living water wash them. Wash them whiter than snow, oh God. And use them, oh Lord, to glorify your name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Now, I want to say this to everyone that is watching me. The God of heaven is going to do a special miracle in your life. If you say amen, it's you I'm talking to. The God of heaven will do a special miracle in your life. Now, the Lord said to me today, he said, he's going to unlock people's settlements. And right now, I want to make a decree. He said, whatever, as I say to his ear, he's going to do it. So as you type amen, 
the Almighty God. As you type Amen, the Almighty God will settle you. Now, I want you to, anytime I make a prophetic word, I want you to type Amen, it is settled. Are you hearing me now? Amen, it is settled. Amen, it is settled. Amen, it is settled. Mercy Kebble, I don't know. I don't know, but since yesterday, I've been having a burden. I've always, I don't know why, when I'm having my morning devotion these days, your name comes to me frequently. Mercy Kebble, I'm telling you, your name comes to me frequently. I don't know, for the past um, some two hours, it's from day first day today. Mercy Kebble, when I'm praying my morning prayers, your, I, I woke up, I think, around the hours of um, 2 a.m. today. 2 a.m. today, Nigerian time. So I was awake. I didn't sleep again till, till now. Did school runs, took my wife to work, went to the kids to church, I mean, to, to school, came back, went to pray. Went to pray. From prayer, again, I still came back now. I'm online. So I've not really slept. I'm still going to church this evening again. So mercy careful for the past seven, two hours. I don't know why. I don't know why. As I, if I just, if I'm praying, I see your name. So I, I pray, I pray, I pray for you. So I don't know what, what it is, but God is going to do a special miracle in your life. And mercy careful, I pray for you. You will not bury anybody this year. You will not bury anybody this year, Mexican. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen. Messi, hear this. Messi, hear this. I hope you are not driving. Messi, I hope you are not driving. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, my Father. Job 33. Holy Spirit, help me this hour. Job chapter number 33. Verses um two 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 job thirty three verses number twenty eight. All right, job thirty three verse twenty eight. Bible says job thirty three twenty eight. If Jennifer here, if Jennifer is there, please let me pop it up. Job thirty three twenty eight. The Bible said. He will deliver his soul from going into the pits. He will deliver his soul from going where? Into the pits. Hmm. He said, and his life shall see light. His life shall see light. I prophesy. Don't forget, every, every prophetic word I say, make sure you say, Amen. It is settled. I prophesy to everyone watching me. I use mercy cable as a point of contact. Anyone that have been pulled to the pit of death, anyone that have been pulled to the grave, I decree as soon as the light of God shines, the light will bring them back. As the light of God will pull them back. As the light of God will pull them back. As the light of God will pull them back. I decree in the name of Jesus. Shabbate kopale katoya in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone they are pulling to the grave, the light of God will shine and they will come back to life. They will come back to life in the name of Jesus. While I was praying early this morning, mercy. While I was praying early this morning, this was the, one of the scriptures that the Lord showed to me. And the Lord said to me, when he, he said, in verse 28, he said, he said, he will deliver his soul from going into pit, comma. The Lord said to me, that is preservation. That is what? Preservation. He said, he will deliver his soul from going to pit. That's, he will preserve you. Then he said, and his life, his life shall see the light. He said, that's protection. The light shines for your protection. So, I decree to everyone watching me right now, God will preserve you and protect you. 
I say God will preserve you and protect you. I say God will preserve you and protect you. I pray for Emmanuel Ogogari. God will preserve him and God will protect him. I pray for you, Mommy Mary Ogogari. God will protect you and God will preserve you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Hmm. Thank you, my father. I decree every special miracle you need in your life, whatever that has been resisting it, whatever that has been stopping it, whatever that has become an hindrance, whatever that has become an adversary, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Shabana Kopayati, Ekanameya. Subre kate malobaya, ekate balabana kasoba. I decree by the force of grace, may everything that has become a stumbling block give way in the name of Jesus. I say it shall give way in the name of Jesus. I say it shall give way in the name of Jesus. I say it shall give way in the name of Jesus. I decree every evil hand. That is stretched against you, the law will cut off the hand. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 12. Job 5, 12. He said, He disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. Every evil hand that wants to carry out evil in your life, God will not allow them. In the name of Jesus. Mercy Kebo. I didn't want to say it, but I keep hearing it. No old person will die before his time. Mercy Kebo. I'm speaking in parable. No old person that you love will die before her time. Hmm. I decree. No old person you love will die before her time. Thank you, my father. Mercy Kebu. I don't know why. I'm sorry, everybody. I love everybody. But what I say to her, I say to everybody. I don't know why the Lord has been pulling her to me for the past few days. So I believe God, God is trying to frustrate the agenda of the wicked. And God is going to frustrate it. God is going to frustrate it. Now, one thing, I, I was very prepared for today's meeting, but the Lord just took me on that dimension. Now, the Bible says, everybody hear this. Mercy Kebu hear this. Everybody hear this. Job 5, verse 26. I want to read it. Job 5, 26. Job 5, 26, it says, Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age and thy offspring as the grass of the earth mercy Kebu, i pray for your mom i pray for your mom she will not only live but she will live in good health the lord will touch her and I pray she will see our grandchildren's children. I pray no elderly person dies untimely. In the name of Jesus. Listen to this, everybody. Any shame that they have prepared for your family, I decree that shame will return to the sender. I come against the spirit of shame. I come against the spirit of shame. Your children will not bring you shame. Somebody type that. Somebody just type that quickly. My children will not bring me shame. My children will not bring me shame. Somebody go ahead and type that prophetic word. My children will not bring me shame. My children will not bring me shame. My children will not bring me shame. 
In the name of Jesus. Your children will not bring you shame. I pray. Satan will not enter any of your child to bring you tears. Your children are preserved as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So God will surround your children. I decree as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so God will surround your children in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your children's children. They will not bring you shame. Moduka kindly, the Lord protects you, the Lord preserve you. I see you being congratulated between now and August. I see what you have been waiting for manifest. I don't know why it's just a congratulation for you now. I don't know if something has happened already, but I hear congratulation. Odukbe, I'm hearing congratulations. Thank you, Lord. I think Abraham Moses spoke to you yesterday, Mercy, about celebration. Celebration. It will only be celebration of life. It will only be celebration of life. Jennifer Onye Uchi, father, remember your daughter. Anything that will bring tears to her tomorrow, father, may it not stand in her life. Anything that will bring tears to Jennifer Onye Uchi, May it never survive around her. In the name of Jesus. In the end of the get ready. I see as this July is ending, a testimony awaits you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for blessing Adik Boju. Thank you for the peace. Now, pass it all understanding that we begin to speak for her. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Lord, intervene. Lord, intervene. Lord, intervene. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said, I should now unlock people's settlements. Please, as I call your name, if I've not called your name, it's because I've not seen your name. I want to call your name. Thank you, my father. If you want me to call your children's name also, no problem. But the Lord says I should call your name. I should call your names. So if I've not called your names because I've not seen your name. So the Lord said, unlock their settlements. Unlock their settlements. Father, thank you. As I pray, oh God, as I call upon you this hour, from my mouth to your ears. Father, I unlock the settlement of Mary of Agari. I unlock the settlement of Mercy Kepo. I unlock the settlement of UK Bawo. I unlock the settlement of Bless Nadek Boju. I unlock the settlement of Stella Johnson. I unlock the settlement of Ihene Benedita. I unlock the settlement of Gift Ebozele Olabanri. I unlock the settlement of Jennifer Onyewuchi. I unlock the settlement of every child connected to these people who have called their name. Please, if I have not called your name because I did not see your name, I unlock the settlement of their children. I unlock the settlement of their sons. I unlock the settlement of their firstborn sons. I unlock the first settlement of their own their firstborn daughters. I unlock the settlement of their wombs in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for precious. Today is our birthday. I decree, oh God, preserve her because she's precious in thy side. Lord, in blessing, bless her. Give her wisdom. Give her understanding. Let her grow in grace. In the name of Jesus. Happy birthday to precious. It is well with her. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you. We bless your name, oh God. Everyone watching, I unlock the settlement of your husbands. I unlock the settlement of your sons. I unlock the settlement of your daughters. I unlock the settlement of your daughter-in-laws. 
I love the settlement of Timmy. I love the settlement of Toju. I love the settlement of Annie. I love the settlement of Peter. I love the settlement of Meshach. I love the settlement of destiny. Father, I unlock that settlement. In the name of Jesus. And for everyone that will watch this broadcast letter, either by being shared to their platform, Father, I unlock that settlement. In the name of Jesus. I unlock the settlement of Moduk by kind day. I unlock her settlement by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus. Everyone watching. Your settlement is unlocked by fire. Your settlement is unlocked by fire. It is unlocked by fire. I unlock the settlement of Jennifer. I unlock the settlement of my wife, Luca Bozwa. I unlock the settlement of Ephraim Bozwa. I unlock the settlement of, of Bethel Bozwa. I unlock the settlement of every child connected to this war room. In the name of Jesus, it is settled. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name, pray. Please, Mercy Kebu, if you are there, please give me a call after this broadcast. I need to talk to you. Give me a call after this broadcast. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, their settlement is confirmed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, tomorrow we are going to be having our our um, our family deliverance section tomorrow is going to be very, very acidic. Oh, Lord, shake my family. There's going to be a shaking in your family tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's going to be a, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Join me. You know, our family deliverance meeting is always bloody. Oh, Lord, shake the covens. Oh, Lord, shake the marine waters. All right? Thank you, my father. I want to see twins. <laughs> Please, everybody say amen to Ihena Benedita. I like this. I like this. He said the husband is coming in next week. She won the settlement of twins. Ah, the Lord just said to that. Ah, Lambe Kopayata, you will carry the babies. You will carry your, your babies. Tama Loba, I like that. I like this. You have informed the man of God. I'm now aware. Oh, heaven is aware already. I decree your, your, your petition will be granted. From my mouth to God's ears, that which you wish, it will come to pass. God bless you. Any Benedita, I'll await your testimony. We will remember this day because God will give you a surprise in the name of God. God will give you a special miracle in that direction. In Jesus' precious name. Now, everybody hear this. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., oh, Lord, shake the heavens and the earth. There are certain things that can only happen only by shaking. I'm telling you. Jennifer, Onye, Onye Wuchi, get ready. I see you dance between now, September, November. September, November. I don't know. You are going to dance. You are going to dance. I see you dancing in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you all. Thank you all for everybody for joining. I tell you the truth. You are the very preferred special people that watch today. The Lord bless you. I bless you from my heart and I decree, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, every good thing you have seen in this ministry that God has done through this man of God, I release it upon you triple. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are protected, you are preserved, and God will keep providing for you and your household. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I pray. For Emmanuel Olabanri, I cancel every accident attempt against his life. In the name of Jesus. Um, Johnson Amuto, Jennifer, I unlock your settlements. I pray the Lord will raise helpers for you. Financial helpers. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you all. Thank you all. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. is our family deliverance. Let us deal with certain things. Let us shake certain things. Now, we are going to shake out wickedness from our family. I'm telling you, we are going to shake wickedness out of our family tomorrow. Tomorrow is all about shaking. We are going to shake. We are going to cause a shaking in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow by 9 p.m. Nigerian time for our family deliverance meeting. I'm telling you, God must answer us when we pray. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the sweet worship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Shalom.